So today we will continue with the movie that we started yesterday, which was spoken on 8th of November, 1981. Yesterday, Baba had spoken about the discussion between Shibaba and Brahma Baba in subtle region where Brahma Baba had emerged all the children and he was saying that all the children are adorned with different rosaries of virtues in different forms and shapes and manners. There were four major shapes. Uh, one was in the shape of a necklace where the rosaries were beaded into a necklace, the rosaries of virtues. Then there was a long necklace which was going to the feet. Some children were wearing a necklace in different rows with the same beads, having different varieties. And then some were wearing so many rosaries of virtues that the whole body was covered and it was looking like they're wearing a dress of the rosary. And then Baba also spoke about four different colors of beads or rosaries that, that were being adorned on the bodies of the children. The first one Baba spoke about was the rosary of beads of knowledge, which was, a, which was shaped like a diamond and sparkling golden in color. And such golden that you can see the rays of different lights coming through it. Right? And then Baba said for remembrance, the color was red mixed with golden sparkle, a color that's never seen in this world, but only in the subtle region. Then uh, for inculcation, dharna. For inculcation, Baba spoke about the color white because white is also the color of purity and it also portrays no mixture or no dilution. But Baba said that in that white color also, there was a mix of golden sparkle, like in the middle. Right? And it was shaped like a moon, where in the middle there was a golden sparkle and outside the color was white. Again, the same color which is not visible in the in our world. And finally, Baba said that there was the color of service, which was the color green, representing the nurturing that, that we can do and how we can make change of forest of thorns into a garden of flowers. And then Baba went on to say that while each of the children were adorned with the virtues, adorned with the rosaries, but the variety that they were carrying and the length of the necklaces that they were wearing and the shape and forms, they were all different. And then Baba went on and the discussion carried on between Shababa and Brahma Baba, where Shababa is asking Brahma Baba that when there's one father, the knowledge is the same. Everybody gets the same amount of love from the father. Then why is there a difference? So we'll continue the Muli today. Today, Baba speaks about what is the difference? Today, Father Brahma was feeling a lot of love for the children. He had a lot of enthusiasm for all the pictures to be completed. He felt that all the children should be adorned with rosaries right now. Hmm? Baba had this immense love and affection for his children. He wants all of us to wear all the rosaries right now and not to wait. The father can adorn you with a rosary, but you also need the power to wear it, wear that rosary. So 
the father can adorn, but to retain it, to be able to wear it, there's powers needed in us as well. You also need power to take care of it. So not just wearing. Wearing is one thing, but carrying it and taking care of it. When, you, when you're given a rosary by the father, I think that also needs power. Baba says, Therefore, Brahma asked Father Shiva, What is the matter? Why aren't the children becoming fully adorned so that everyone can return home together? Only those who are fully adorned will go with him. What was the cause of this? Brahma Baba is asking Shibaba that only those who are fully adorned with virtues and the rosaries will go with Brahma Baba in the first first lot or the first patch to the golden age to the Param Dham. Only those who are fully adorned. And Baba said, why is there a difference? What is the cause of this? Shiva said, the difference is very small. Everyone thinks about it and everyone does it. But some think of it and do it at the same time. That is, their thinking and doing are simultaneous. Therefore, they are becoming complete. So this has to be underlined. Baba says, the difference lies and some become complete before others is because as soon as they think of doing an effort, they do that effort. Like Mama used to say, Jaise hi socha, vase kiya. As soon as you think of the effort, you do that effort. And that's when she also he, her, her main effort, Mama's main effort was this. It comes into your mind and you do it. And that's how she went on to take the first or uh, the second seat after, just after Brahma Baba. Baba says, so therefore they are becoming complete. Others think and also do but there's a gap between their thinking and their doing. Even a minute gap. So, Baba says, you think about the effort. You have some excellent thoughts that I should do this in my effort. That is my effort. But when it comes to execution, sometimes we delay those actions. And even a small delay can push us further and further in becoming complete. So Baba says, but there's a gap between their thinking and their doing. They all think about it a lot, but they do it after some time. Or they do not do it at that time. See, eventually all of us have to do the effort and all of us have to become complete. But there are three, four elements in when we do the effort. There are three, three, four elements that are there. One is that we, we need to continuously keep thinking about improvising in our efforts, doing better and better and better and better. Second is we need to continue doing those efforts as and when they come in our minds. But this third element, which is the element of time. And that's where the gap comes in. Many times we think, okay, I'll do it from tomorrow. Okay, I'll do it from this date. Okay, maybe seva or service. I'll do it next week. Right? And that's where the gap comes in. Because time is of essence in 
the effort because confluence age is the sh- a very short age and time is passing it's it's not waiting for any one of us so baba says if you do it after some time or you do not do it at that time when the thought of that effort comes they do not become complete simultaneously baba says this is why after some time the intensity and enthusiasm they have in their thoughts at that time reduces by a percentage we would have observed that many times we have extremely enthusiastic thoughts to do something and go and conquer you know whether in logic or in the in baba's knowledge to do some effort and you know there's a surge of enthusiasm that comes in and a zeal that comes in sometimes not all the time but sometimes there's a certain sudden surge right when that surge of enthusiasm and positivity or zeal that comes in our thoughts if we do the actions at that time the return of those actions and the power in those actions is immense and as we delay the action we will observe that the enthusiasm the zeal the amount of zeal that was there when those thoughts were emerging in my mind it goes down the percentage is not the same that is because there's a lot of different different influences in this world right we stay in this world so sometimes there's a there's an accurate connection with baba when we have these enthusiastic thoughts and of zeal and uh positivity to be able to do something but then if when when we delay and we keep going on and on i think the influences of this world they take over eventually and those thoughts those enthusiasms they come down by a percentage and that's what baba is talking of here it is similar to the difference between eating something hot and fresh and eating something cold and stale there is a difference in the strength you receive from eating something fresh and something stale you just think of it like that if the thought comes and i do it it's like i'm eating something fresh and if a thought comes in the morning and i do it in the evening the later i do it it becomes stale you will get the energy but not the energy that you could have get the potential will go down it's a beautiful analogy from baba that think of it like eating something fresh or eating something stale no matter how delicious something is when it is kept for some time it does not give the same result as it would if eaten fresh there's a difference <clears throat> between the results of those who think about something and do it practically at that very moment and those who think about something today and do it tomorrow and you will observe this baba says that if we think of something and do it immediately there's there's a certain power that's there in those actions one is the power of the enthusiasm with which i i am having those thoughts and second is the power of baba the more i delay that i feel that i don't have that much power to do it so baba says those who think about today and do it tomorrow it's like eating stale food baba says because of the gap in time as you were told first the percentage is reduced 
there is a difference in the vitamins of something fresh and something stale. They say that when you make something, the vitamins, they stay fresh up until five hours. And after five hours, it's very minimal vitamins and nutrients that you get from food. Mostly, only the energy, right? And that's what Baba is talking of here. Having stale food. And second, Baba says, because of the gap in the time, problems come in the form of obstacles. What, what is Baba trying to say here? Problems come in the form of obstacles. You would have observed that, you know, when we, are, when we are thinking something and we do it immediately, it's easier to do it because there are minimal obstacles. There's no time for obstacles to come. You're thinking and you're doing. But when you are delaying in action, because of the world being unpredictable and the karmic accounts being, um, you know, they continue to come in our ways. The more we delay, the more there is the drama that will turn around and the problems that will arise and the obstacles that will come up and the more difficulty we feel. So one, we lose the power, as Baba said. And second, because we delay, the road becomes longer, the obstacles keep coming in. And the speed breakers keep coming in. So Baba says, Therefore, let your thinking and doing be simultaneous. This is known as making an instant donation and accumulating great charity. Instant donation and accumulating great charity underline. Otherwise, instead of it being great charity, it becomes just charity. See, whatever actions we are doing in Baba's remembrance towards this knowledge, towards our effort making, they're all accumulated for us. But Baba says if you think and do immediately, it accumulates as great charity, but if you think and there's a time time delay in action, the accumulation is only of charity and not great charity. So there is a difference. Is there not? Mama says. There is a difference between the attainment one receives from great charity and just charity. Do you understand what the cause is? It's a small cause. You do do everything. It's just that instead of doing it now, you do it after some time. I'll do it. When I come to it, I'll do it. This is why you have to labor more. Therefore, Brahma Baba, therefore, Father Brahma says to you children, now find a solution to this cause. If I have a habit of delaying the action, I need to find a solution and I need to find, first of all, realize that I do this and then find a solution of how, how I can avoid delaying the actions. Baba says, did you hear today's story, the story of the conversation between the two fathers? What will you do now? Find a solution to the cause. To find the solution means to construct, a, construct something. There will then be renewal in yourself and also in the world. Moses, when you're finding a solution, it's like constructing something and deconstructing something. Deconstructing my old habits and trying to construct a new habit is like finding a solution 
And today the solution that I need to find is how can I ensure that I, when I think about making an effort, I make that effort immediately instead of a delay in making that effort. Achha. To those who constantly remain fully adorned, to those who make their thinking and their doing equal, to those souls who are constantly equal to the Father and who make an instant donation and accumulate great charity, to those who fulfill the pure desires of both the fathers, to such complete souls, Bab Dadas, love, remembrance, and namaste. After this, Baba goes on to meet the teachers. Baba says, You servers remain on this stage of service from Amrit Vela until night. Even whilst you are resting, you are on the stage. Even whilst you are sleeping, you are on the stage, playing your part. Baba's instructions are, even when we are sleeping, we should be sleeping in remembrance. As if, even while we are sleeping, people are watching. Other souls are watching. And this is not just for the teachers. It's for all of us, all Baba's children. It's like we are on service from morning Amrit Vela until night. And even in the night, when we are sleeping, or the, in the day if we are resting, we are still on the stage of service. It's like being in constant scrutiny. Everyone's vision is on how you sleep. Therefore, to be a server means to be one who plays your part on stage for the whole 24 hours. You are in front of the world at every step and every second. It's like there are cameras wherever I go. And at any time, the souls of the world can see me on that camera, what I'm doing at that moment, even while I'm sleeping. That's what means being on the stage of service for 24 hours. And whenever they look at me, they take something back, either through my actions, either through my thoughts, or anything, right? That's what it means being on the stage of service 24 hours. Virtues also. So Baba says, you are in front of the world at every step and every second. You servers must constantly consider yourselves to be hero actors. You're not just sitting at your center, but on the stage, on the world stage. When you pay this much attention, every thought you have and every deed you perform will automatically be elevated. There, there will be natural attention. So what's the, what, what do I need to remember? That I'm constantly on the stage of service, 24 hours. You servers must constantly consider yourselves to be hero actors. You're not just sitting at your center, but on the stage, on the world stage. When you pay this much attention, every thought you have and every deed you perform will automatically be elevated. There will be natural attention. You won't have to pay special attention, but because you are on the stage, there will be a 
natural attention. Constantly consider yourself to be a worthy of worship soul, that is, a pure soul. I have to emerge that within me, that I'm constantly worthy of worship, constantly is underlined. I'm a pure soul, I'm constantly worthy of worship soul. You are worthy of being worshipped every cycle. By considering yourself to be worthy of worship, your thoughts and dreams will be constantly pure. When, when we emerge the thought that I'm worthy of worship, automatically my actions, my thoughts will start becoming pure. I just have to remain in that self-respect of being worthy of worship. Baba says, do you have this much intoxication? The intoxication that I am worthy of worship, the intoxication that I am worthy of worship in every cycle. It's me who's the chosen one. It's, it's a big fortune. It's a big responsibility. Baba says, do you have this intoxication? In any case, the majority of servers are Kumaris. You Kumaris have become double Kumaris, a Brahma Kumari and a Kumari. Therefore, you are so great. Even now, in your 84th final birth, the feet of you Kumaris is, is worshipped. Right? And there is a symbolism when we do the Navratri. Right? Those are the days of the Kumaris. Baba says even in your 84th birth, 84th birth, still you're, you're worshipped and worshipped so, so religiously across the world. It's not a small thing. It's a great intoxication, Baba says. It is because you become so pure that you are worshipped. Kumaris are never allowed to bow down. Everyone else bows at the feet of Kumari. They wash the feet of the Kumaris and they drink that water. So which Kumaris are they? They are the Brahma Kumaris. So you servers are such elevated souls. Who is being worshipped? All of you. There's also a song that goes, this worship takes place in every home. Actually, in every home, the worship of Kumari happens. This is why it can be said that you are being worshipped. Look, even Bhak Dada says Namaste to you. It is because you are so worthy of being worshipped that even the Father says Namaste to you. By remaining in embodiment of this awareness, you will continue to make progress. Progress for yourself and also in service. All the obstacles will then stop and all the specialities are contained within this awareness. The awareness that I'm a special, chosen, pure soul who's worthy of worship on the world stage 24 hours. Achha. So we will pause here today and we'll carry on with the remaining part of the movie tomorrow. Let's give one minute silence. 
rewind the moli in my mind and then we'll come back to chat. Okay, so it's a small excerpt of the Morley that we read. Anybody wants to share their thought, what's coming to them or the journeys? Good morning, Sister Om Shanti. Okay. Yeah, here, when Baba says you have to do an instant effort to fill, to bring into practice whatever you have thought of. I was having a churning that at certain times we would have to seek permissions of elders and there are a lot of people involved in it. So the though the idea seems to be new or a noble one, but then there are a chain of people involved in carrying out uh, that practice. But then, which which usually takes time, you know, um, these decisions have to be taken in conjunction with seniors also. So that's when and the delay happens at times, not every time, at times, you know, uh, I think that that's one aspect to be taken care while we understand this. But then probably I also have a second thought that that enthusiasm that comes with that idea it's usually infectious. It, it it touches the other person. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Om Shanti. Yes, absolutely, brother. Thanks for bringing that up. Yes, I, you know, there are certain mariyadas that we have, and whenever we have thoughts, it's always good to take opinions from seniors and take permissions sometimes. Depends upon what kind of thought it is. But if it's a thought for my own progress, which is internal, where I need to make a change, I think I can do that. But if the, if what I'm trying to do is something which affects others, right, in service or anything else, of course, I should take permission. And another thing, I think what Baba is mostly trying to elude here is that whenever there's a thought, don't procrastinate, right? He's, I think the illusion here to, is towards procrastination. Many times we will do that. There's a, there's a beautiful thought that will come, enthusiastic thought that will come, but we procrastinate. Okay, let me do it from tomorrow. Okay, let this thing be over and then I do it. Oh, I'm busy these days. Something is going on. I'll do it once this finishes, right? So that procrastination that happens. So, so what Baba is expecting here, I think, is that the thought come when you start working towards it. So the working towards it might involve going and speaking to someone, okay, talking to the seniors, getting the things done, and you also get the power to do it at that time. Because as you said, that enthusiasm, that touching, it touches others also when you do it at the same time. But when you delay it, the chances of that becoming successful keeps going down. So my effort should start. And at the same time, Baba also says, do the effort, but leave it to the drama. Do a genuine effort. So I think that that's what Baba is alluding to. Yes, that. Sister. Okay. Any, maybe, else? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, maybe, maybe it's when it comes to comes for to self service or changing oneself. This should be an immediate action. But when it, it is for the service of uh, humanity along uh, to a lot of people, then that's where a lot of people have to be consulted before taking that step. Yes, sister. The procrastination thing is right. Yes, sister. Thank you. Yeah. 
Option three. Anyone else has any thoughts? Uh, um, so, um, Papa says uh, this uh, instant donation, right? So, similarly, Papa says, uh, uh, yeah, the great charity. Um, it was nice uh, that when Shio Baba uh, said, you know, why the children aren't fully adorned with all the same, you know, qualities. So it's because the thinking and the doing, they are not in, uh, you know, simultaneous, so they are not aligned. So, uh, so we, uh, so Baba says we love to, uh, if, so in everyone, not the percentage is at the same level, so everybody has different percentages. So here, um, we have to do things uh, as we, you know, as we get. Uh, so it has to happen uh, uh, immediately, right? So that's when uh, it really start working with us. So that's what Baba says, Durantan Mahapun Abhinayi Kab. Sorry, Ab Karnayana Kabnayi. So, um, so this is what uh, Baba mainly focused on. Baba also gave a very good example there that eating fresh food and also stale one. So stale one not gives so much of uh, nourishing, uh, nourishment and vitamins and so on right? that you just you elaborated. So that was really nice. Yeah, and uh, so why uh, why we are able to uh, do that uh, anything that which Papa says instantly is because uh, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, I, even I have a face that, you know, especially when we are hearing with lean center, right? So we, the vibration and the atmosphere will be powerful and we feel like, okay, I want to do it and I want to do it. So we'll have that thought there and then we'll, when we come out, there'll be something else. Um, and uh, when, you know, that... Um, the determination will come down slowly and then we'll keep pushing. I will do it tomorrow, day after, and that that interest, that seal, that interest is gone. And then um, you know, we don't really uh give so much attention for that. And then the next day will be some other murli. And uh, there Baba will highlight something else, and then we will be after that, and it goes on, on and on, right? So I think. Um, I have also faced this uh, in my uh, in my effort making life. Yeah, so it's a good uh, checking um, uh, point that which part of thought and here. So the uh, the importance is yeah the the something that we do it instantly the return is also very high. There is a difference between doing. Uh, uh, in great charity and just charity. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thanks for bringing that up, brother. Because if we look at Brahma Baba, as soon as he had the thought of surrendering himself, he did it. Right? So, very beautifully said, in the Murli, like Baba is saying something. And I have those enthusiastic thoughts of doing it. But as soon as I come out of the center, I start getting other influences. And this will continue to happen. So when that happens, we do lose the interest in that thing, right? We lose the interest, the intensity, the enthusiasm. Because other influences get merged in that, in my, in my stage, in my awareness. When I'm sitting and listening to the movie, it's like I'm in direct connection with Baba. Right? That's like a undiluted connection. But when I come out, there's a dilution that continues to happen and it continues to happen through the day. If I'm not revising things and if I'm not revisiting what was said in the movie, or if I'm not remembering Baba constantly, so that happens and it's very natural. And that's when we start feeling effort making to be difficult because there is a loss of interest. It it comes out of compulsion and not or, or out of need or out of fear of missing out, but not out of interest. 
out of enthusiasm. And that's when you start feeling the heat of effort making. When Baba says effort making is easy, he's talking about as soon as you think you do. But effort making becomes difficult when we delay for whatever reason. It keeps becoming more and more and more and more difficult. And that's when some children start feeling the heat that you know effort making is very difficult, even though it's not, as for Baba. So, so thanks for bringing that out, brother. Anything else anyone wants to share? Baba also spoke to the teachers. Baba said, think of yourself, keep that in your awareness that you are constantly 24 hours, even while sleeping in the world stage. So any thoughts on that? So when we do that, when we consider ourselves uh, to be on the stage, then we will pay special attention there. So it is actually a very good thing. So we will be consciously aware that, okay, what I'm doing, am I doing it properly or not? Right. So the, um, you know, so that way, um, we will put our full attention and also full potential and say to do something to our best. Otherwise, there is a, there might be a carelessness slowly you know, um, coming in and then therefore we become a little um, uh, slow or uh, we may not take it so seriously something. And so this is a good thought. I think I heard in a class that Janki that we uh, went to Mama and asked, and ja uh, Mama said that uh, to intensify the Purushantra, so Mama said, see the whole world is watching you around the streets. And then that will really, um, you know, make us to do things uh, better. And because when you know that everybody is watching us and we are on the stage, we will definitely pay special attention. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, brother. Absolutely. See, compare with the royal family, if anybody has ever watched, you know, anything that they do becomes a sensation. Right? They do right. People appreciate and they do, do even a small wrong move, right? Creates a ripple effect and, you know, it's discussed. People talk about it. So it's a great responsibility to be in the public eye, right? When you are a celebrity, when you're part of the royal family or whatever, you are famous for whatever reason, it brings a huge load of responsibility because each of your actions each of your words people idealize them that's one and second they're discussed and you're being judged for your actions so if that is there's an awareness that i'm i'm on tv all the time i'm on the world stage it's like i'm in a house which is full of cameras everywhere and people anytime can just switch on the TV and watch me. Wherever I go, there's a camera following me. How would I behave? How would I think? How would I act? So, so that that awareness, our says, is very important. It helps in effort making. It helps in making us pure quickly. It, it helps in making constant, continuous efforts. So, yeah. Great. I think these are great journeys. Thanks all for bringing these up. We'll give one minute in remembrance of Baba and then we'll start our day. Thank you.
Thank you. Om Shanti. Thank you to Baba. Thank you, Shivani Ban. Thank you, Divine Family. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a wonderful day.